Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a self-hosted Redis in-memory data storage as a chat memory for your NA10 AI agents. I assume for this video you already have Docker installed and NA10 running via Docker. If you do, follow along and let's get started. So you see here we have a typical AI agent setup. The first step we're going to do is click on memory here and we have different options. We're going to choose Redis chat memory. And here we're going to have to set up some credentials. So click on create new credential. You see how we have few different settings we're gonna set. So first one is password. Now by default, Redis uh, works without a password, but this node doesn't let you connect without a password. So we're gonna have to set up a password. And then we're gonna get the IP address of our Redis container. And then the port 6379 is the default port. Now let's open up a terminal. And here we're gonna set up our Redis container. So to do that, we're gonna write or type Docker uh, run hyphen D to run it in detach mode and then the name so I'm going to call it Redis and then to hyphens network and here we're going to give it the network name to get the network name we're going to have to open up a new terminal and do docker ts first to see our running containers and we're going to find our anything container here take the container ID and we're going to inspect that do docker inspect paste in the container id now we're going to scroll down here and look for the network name because we want the redis to run on the same uh, internal docker network as any 10 is running on so we go down to networks here and below here you see the network name self-hosted ai starter kit demo i'm going to copy this and go back to our other terminal and paste it in here after network now we're going to give it the image name which is just redis and then we're going to run this command redis server make it a little bit bigger redis server two hyphens require require pass and then the password of our choosing i'm just gonna do password for the sake of this tutorial but you should choose a secure password and that's it basically now we just click on enter and we get the id of our redis instance okay great now we're gonna have to inspect our redis instance and find the ip address to do that let's copy it then we do docker inspect paste and scroll down to networks and you can see it's running on the same network now because we chose that so it's running the same network as the anything instance now we're going to find its ID, go down here to IP address. And on the right side here, we have the IP address of Redis. I'm going to copy this. Now let's go back to NA10 and paste it in here under host. And the port here is 6379. If you want to confirm that, you can go back to your terminal and do docker ts and look at Redis here, and you can look at the find the port down here. So you see it's 6379, it's the same, great. And the password, of course, the one you chose, I chose password, so I'm just gonna enter that here. And the rest you can just leave as is. Now click on save, and we connect it, great. Now let's try this out. Click on chat here, say hi. Great. My name is Akram. Hello, Akram. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Gemini, blah, blah. Okay. My last name is Kadri. Great. What's my full name? Your full name is Akron Kadri, as you have told me. I don't have access to any other information, blah, blah, blah. So you see now that it works. It uses Redis as a chat memory storage. If you go down here, you see here, this is the input. And you see the output here. It does remember everything. Hi. Go down. Questions here. My name is Akram. It loads this. My last name is Kadri, etc. So everything is working as expected. So that's basically it for this video. I hope you found this valuable. If you did, please support it.
the video by leaving a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything else in the future. Until next time, take care.